Hey, what's up everybody? This is Evie Simmer and this is the next episode of my Legacy Challenge Let's Play. Lacey is, um, she's not doing good. <laughs> we have no money. She really hasn't earned a lot from her job, which she has to go to in two hours. Oh man, alright, let me get her up. She needs to eat. They're only paying 22 an hour, so she's she's really not. <laughs> she's not doing too good. Oh, and she's got bills. Okay, let's pay the two thirty dollars. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna send her into work. That left her $53. Oh my gosh. She's probably not going to have enough time to eat that. She's got 13 minutes to get to work. Yeah, she's not going to have time to eat that. She's she's already leaving. Oh my gosh. And she's so tense. She's desperate for fun. She's exhausted. She's dirty. She's hungry. Ugh. Lacey brought home $176 today. She did some superb work too. Oh, Oh, her hair is even dirty. I've never seen that before. It's not a light blue anymore. It's all gray and dirty. Oh my gosh. She is ready to pass out. So we're going to have her go sleep in the bush. I'm sorry, Lacey. It's rough being the founder of the legacy, I know. Aww. <laughs> That's so funny to me. That's so horrible. Oh. Oh. So I have her back at the gym. Well, her hair is all clean now. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. I know how to get her a good sleep. There is a bed and breakfast in Willow Creek. And it's right here. And okay, so Lazy is not gonna be proud of this. But she's gonna sneak in here so she can use one of their rooms to actually get a good night's sleep because she's just not doing good. She is fed up with it. She has to get some sleep. And um this is the place. It's a little bed and bath. Sneak her way up here. And she she's gonna go to sleep. So pretty much Lacey is all on her own. Her parents died very, very young, which is why she's just she's struggling right now. She's trying to make it on her own. Her parents died when she was a teen and she couldn't get a job because she was a teenager and she still had to go to school. So she, she lost her parents' house. And so now, you know, on her 18th birthday, she was finally able to find this, this big, huge plot of land that she was very lucky to get. But now she's just has this plot of land and she's just trying to make do after her parents, you know, have passed. And it's very sad, but she's trying to, she's trying to make do with what she can, but her parents did pass, I would say, probably in her last year of her high school. And she was lucky, luckily enough though, to get a job as a teacher. They, her original teachers took pity on her and they knew she wanted to be a, a teacher and so they allowed her to become the substitute teacher for now so she could gain experience before she becomes a full-fledged teacher but yeah she is fresh out of high school brand new young adult and this is why she's living on this plot all by herself that's why she wants a big family why she has this aspiration to give her kids pretty much everything that she didn't have I mean she didn't grow up with a lot of money I mean her and her parents were pretty not well off pretty poor just not a lot just 
enough money to have food and that was about it but she was still happy she was a very happy kid but yeah that's kind of her backstory here i didn't get the chance to say it in the last episode and i was still trying to get a feel for the sun but i think this fits her really well but this is the first bed that lacy has slept in since guess it would be at her parents house before she lost it so i have taken her to this little coffee bar because oh there it goes she had a want to get some coffee oh and to order some food so we're gonna order for here we're gonna get her the cheapest thing so we'll get her an espresso uh, <laughs> I guess she's just sick of having all this horrible low quality food and she just she had to get out she had to get some coffee she needs to get some food and she just wanted something tastier oh a promotion okay so first lifestyle daily cap reached okay and promoted to teaching assistant. Lacey has been promoted to a teaching assistant. She will now make an additional $10 per hour for a grand total of 32 per hour. She also got a bonus of $425 and a clock. It says education level two. You don't have your own classroom yet but at least you're in the classroom every day. Assist the regular teacher with their record keeping and be sure to enforce the classroom rules. Who is tracking attendance? That seems like a job for you. Oh, oh and she got some money. Ooh, okay, let's um see what we can do here. All right, here it is. She's finally got a place to sleep. Um, she finally has kind of a bathroom. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, she has kind of a kitchen. This is still burnt, but we cannot afford to replace it. Hey Lacey, it's me. Do you want to go on a date? She, well... She's not having a lot of fun right now, so maybe this would be good for her. Okay, we'll go ahead and have her do this. But since this guy keeps calling, I'm gonna give him a makeover before we kind of continue with this. All right, here he is. I barely touched him. I think. All I really did was make his eyes slightly bigger and his nose slightly smaller. That's it. I changed his hair and gave him a beard and that was it. He actually didn't need much done to him at all. And of course I changed all of his outfits because those, those were a mess. So he took her here in San Mishuno. Aiden Rose, who is that? I've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? Well, Lacey doesn't have family. Her parents were all that she had. So she's just gonna say no. Suit yourself. Say goodbye to your simulates. Oh, he tipped her. Oh, she could use that. That is not the outfit I gave her. That must be her teaching outfit. So we're going to change her outfit to her party one. Does she dislike the guitar? Yes. She does not like the guitar. This is her party outfit. She looks miserable. Oh, okay. So these two aren't doing too good. I had a feeling they wouldn't. It says she is nauseous. 
Oh, okay, so she's just really not feeling this guy. I'm gonna have her complain and vent. We're gonna have her shout forbidden words at him. I don't think she likes him. Like, she thinks he's imaginative, but she, I don't think she likes him. He is never going to ask her out on a date ever again, which is probably the goal she wants anyway. She's not feeling him. She doesn't really get good vibes from him. Gonna yell at him, mock his outfit, and we're going to brush him off. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Um, don't call me ever. <laughs> So they did not have a good date, but we knew that all of her needs are just plummeted. So she's going to go home. She's going to consider this just a failed evening. And she's probably never going to go on a date with that guy again. So she only has $19. But at least we have the absolute basics of the home. We still don't have shelter, so I hope it doesn't rain again. But at least we have a little bit of something that's hers. So we did get this clock for 200. I am going to sell it and um, get her like trash can just just cheap little trash can so we can get rid of all these plates actually um it needs to be an outside bin all right we're gonna get her this trash can i took the rest of her money but at least she'll be able to like clean all of this up this is so much nicer. She doesn't have to go to the gym for showers anymore. Of course, uh, I hope nobody just happens to walk by either. So it's 10. We're going to go ahead and have her go to bed. She is going to be starting her first day as a teaching assistant in the morning. She's so excited for this. She feels like she's finally starting to get a handle on her life. I say that and she's literally living outside with no walls and no roof, but but we're getting there. She is back and she has earned 256 simoleons. I'm gonna see if I can't change her work outfit. She is not having a lot of fun. Her meters keep going lower and lower, so I was going to give her some books. Oh, they're only $10. Okay. I'm gonna give her some books, and we'll get her a new little counter, too. And we still cannot afford to replace that can how much that's like six hundred dollars is that how much a regular stove is okay a stove is 235 we're gonna just delete this when we can we're gonna get her a stove in the meantime we're gonna have her just read some books maybe that will help with her fun meter <laughs> and of course we could always have her go out but let's oh. Let this go up a little bit so she can grade her her paperwork okay the spice festival is in town and she can get some fresh produce while she's there okay we're gonna have her go to that because she's hmm. when did she meet don lothario okay we're gonna invite him dax and that's it But she is in 
some Nita fun. Okay, so they called her. They want to go. So they're all, the, the three of them are going as a small little friend group to the Spice Festival. And she can get her some fresh uh, produce while she's here. So everybody made it. Oh no, she's gonna complain about problems because that's what she does. But we're gonna change her out of that outfit and put her in just her every day. And we're gonna greet Lothario. That is Judith Ward. She has a small makeover. And where did she get the <laughs> the drink hey. from? Oh, okay. Well, well, let's attempt the spicy curry challenge together. And then we're gonna have her harvest. It looks like Lacey isn't used to eating spicy food, like the Spice Festival curry challenge plate. With time and practice, she will be able to eat the spiciest foods around like some kind of spice hound. Oh, So she is gonna get her fresh veggies. Burnt tongue. Lacey's mouth is on fire from failing the spicy curry challenge. Oh, so there's a basketball. Let's challenge to a competition. We're gonna challenge both Dax and Dawn. She has no money, so she can't afford to really partake in a lot of the food. Oh, June is calling us. I've been thinking maybe opposites attract. This might be crazy, but let's go have dinner. Uh, no. No, I don't think, I think she tried it. She didn't care for him. I think that's going to be a no. Oh, she's so cute. She's so bad at this. They're all very bad at this game. Well, the Spice Festival is over. So she said goodbye to the two boys and she is going all right, well, it is 10 o'clock at night, but she does not have school tomorrow. So she is going to go over here and she's going to read a book before bed. Get her fun meters up and then she's probably going to have a shower and then she'll be in bed. Oh, it is neighborhood brawl day. I have not messed with any of the holidays on the calendar, so these are all default. Um, I th actually, I take that back. I did edit the Harvest Fest one. I took off the gnomes. <laughs> and I need to put them back on for prank day. Because to me, it makes more sense to have the gnomes for prank day. But the rest are pretty standard. I do have a day off to decorate for Winter Fest. Um, her birthday will be in the winter, um, but besides that, I have not changed on this. Let's sweat. What a rush. This boost of adrenaline is making Lacey feel amazing. Should she firmly embrace with her astonishingly sculpted arms that she likes fitness? Yes. All right, so she now has a hobby of fitness. So we're gonna have her join a club. Since that's what she likes and we'll have them gather together at any gym. And we'll add a few people that I know wouldn't mind. We'll go ahead and add Dax and Dawn and June for this club. Okay, so we have a new club for her hobby. Ah. Oh. Ah. I'm thinking we're gonna have them get together each week. Oh, she got all of these veggies. I'm going to put them all in the fridge before they spoil. Wait. <gasps> we got a cow plant. Oh, 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 oh. We got a cow plant from that. 
Okay, we're gonna have her start a garden. I didn't know you could get um, cow plants from that. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna plant that. We can always use a cow plant. I think I've only had a cow plant once in this game. No, wait, once or twice. Yeah, once or twice. It's not often. Oh, it's got little ears poking up. Oh, that's funny. So I guess we're going to have a cow plant. Mm. All right, well, we are going to have her grade papers. Oh, she can't because we don't have a desk. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and have her go to the gym. And we'll have her grade the papers and then have a workout after in the new club. Here is the gym. Got a pool back here. All kinds of exercise equipment. Um, they're doing a yoga class right here. We got vending machines, places to shower, all that kind of stuff. But luckily, there is a place where she can sit and do oh, and grade her t her uh, students homework. As a teaching assistant, they pretty much shoved all of the paperwork on her and she really just doesn't have enough time to do all this but luckily it is the weekend so she has time she is feeling very accomplished she finished the homework she is done for the rest of the weekend so now she can just go and do what she wants see if she can join a yoga class i don't think it started yet so it is the neighborhood brawl day, so she she needs to fight with somebody, so oh, the yoga class is now starting. I want her to join that first. Oh, we can't afford it. Okay. Let's um let's go pick a fight with somebody <laughs> and so she can get this achieved right here. We'll pick a fight with her. She was the first time I saw. And fight. They got the untrustworthy sim. Lacey just met her and yet cannot shake the impression that they are up to no good. I better keep both eyes open. <laughs> Lacey Legacy is getting into her first fight. Oh, she won! And they have bad sentiments now. What sentiment did she get? She got hurt. Lacey feels wronged, and being around her will remind Lacey of that pain. Okay. Oh, she's mad. Beat someone up. Mean Sims love fights. They love winning fights even more. So Lacey and Dax are back here at the library. She desperately needs a promotion. So she needs to reach a level two in her research. <laughs> Level 2, Lacey can now finish reading books in less time. She can also debate a topic with other sins at the podium pair. Ooh, there's actually podiums down here. Debate a topic. Is a college education worth it? Is homework beneficial? Are cow plants cows or plants? Let's do that and we're gonna do it with Dax. She just got a cow plant. So it's a good time to test her debate skills. So she she's pretty much has asked him, let's do this. I wanna try this out. 
I need to learn how to debate better. I mean, she's school. She's trying to be a school teacher. She's got to learn how to do all this debate stuff. <laughs> debate dud. Lacey spoke from the heart, but it wasn't good enough. Maybe next time she should prepare more so that she isn't such an embarrassment. And she's also feeling unsure and too full of yourself. This other Sims airs of being full of themselves are not gaining them any favor in Lacey's eyes. Oh, she lost. Okay. I'm kind of surprised by that, really. But she's embarrassed. She's angry. I mean, she already wasn't feeling Dax too much. And... She asked him for one little favor, and he just, like, steamrolled her on that debate. So she's going home. Okay, well, that's a wrap for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>